that's why you think she got thicker. Fuck then I cut, I am not a time spender. I know I ain't shit, just a perfect side nigga. Hey guys, what's up? I'm back today with another video. Okay, so for today's video, um, I'm going to be talking about my 15 and pregnant story. For those of you who don't know me, um, I was pregnant at, well I got pregnant at 15 and I had my daughter 7 days after my birthday after I turned 16. So if you guys would like to hear my 15 and pregnant story, then just keep on watching. And also, um, I just want to put out there that I'm not encouraging anybody at a young age to get pregnant. I'm just telling you guys my story. Okay, so um, I'm just going to explain to you guys first how I met my boyfriend. So, well, when I was in 8th grade, I used to go to Quince's a lot. So I seen him at a Quince. I didn't talk to him though because he had a girlfriend at the time. And so I wasn't going to talk to somebody who has a girlfriend. So I ended up seeing him like two times after that and he still had a girlfriend so I still never talked to him. And then one day he messaged me on Facebook and so that's basically how we met. Like we had the same friends so we would always see each other but we never spoke until he messaged me on Facebook. Anyways, I'm going to fast forward a little bit. My freshman year came and it was like halfway through freshman year kind of. Like at the beginning of halfway. And um, we were already dating for like seven months and so you know things happened and um, well my grandma was telling me to make a birth control appointment because she didn't want me to get pregnant. Obviously I had a boyfriend so she was trying to make sure that I didn't have a baby at a young age. So I made a birth control appointment but I kind of already knew I was pregnant before I made the appointment and um i went to my appointment my boyfriend went with me and so did his mom but only i went back in the room so i did that little thing where you have to pee in the cup and they test it to see if you're pregnant before they give you your birth control so they did that and um yeah i was pregnant the lady came in and told me so she was just talking to me like you know what they usually do like to to start your prenatal care and um so I came out the room when I was done and I told them that I was pregnant. He acted surprised because he kind of already knew too, but he acted surprised so his mom wouldn't get mad at him, but she still got mad. And so I ended up moving in with him. Um, obviously I told my grandma and I told my dad that I was pregnant. My, They were really mad. Um, every time I would see them, because how I said I lived with my boyfriend and I would come like for family parties and stuff. They would just talk crap to me. They would like say mean things to me. And so it, it really made me sad and depressed all the time. They were really judgmental. My family is really judgmental on things like that. Um, They were so mad. They didn't even tell nobody I was pregnant. One side of my family didn't even know I was pregnant until like a year later after I had my daughter. When they seen her at a family party. Um, so they didn't even have me a baby shower either. That's how mad they were. They're over it now, obviously. My daughter's three now, so... Years passed and they're okay now. Um, so I'm 19 now. I was happy when I found out I was pregnant. Even though I know I probably shouldn't have been happy. You know, how are you supposed to feel? You're young and you find out you're pregnant. Like... Do you be happy, sad, mad? I don't know, but um, I was always really depressed during my pregnancy. I'm not really going to put my baby's dad out there like that, but he was really messed up to me when I was pregnant, and he knows it. Everybody who knows me knows how messed up he was to me, but that's like in the past, whatever. My story's not even that long because it's, it's kind of just like a simple story like I don't have nothing crazy about my story I found out I was having a girl we were happy my daughter was really spoiled like um from his family they threw me a baby shower so like I did get gifts and stuff for her and um, my dad spoils my daughter now like that's his baby. He loves her more than he loves us, like his kids. 
and yeah so when she was born I had her natural um I did get the epidural but like I pushed her out normal and um when she was born she was six pounds five ounces 20 and a half inches long so she was a long baby um, I named her Anna Marie um I would show you guys her right now but she's actually not here right now she's at daycare because she does go to like a preschool um during the day because it's like to get her ready for kindergarten basically to like teach her things so that's where she is right now but if you guys subscribe to my channel then you guys will probably be seeing more videos with her in them because I do want to start vlogging and um, putting her in my videos and so if you guys would like to see more like about me and about her then make sure to subscribe I think that's about it um, I did stay in the hospital for three days because um, I had too much blood like I was bleeding too much my iron was low and I had um, I was anemic so I had to stay in the hospital for three days and yeah that's probably about it like that's honestly my story there's nothing like it crazy about it I am 19 now and if you guys who are subscribed to me don't know who I am you don't know me um, I am pregnant right now I am going to be six months pregnant and I'm having a boy so if you guys would like to see my journey or whatever you want to call it um, you know watch videos of me and my kids and stuff and like just get to know more about me make sure to subscribe because um maybe i'll do like baby updates or something i don't know but yeah that's pretty much my story um so if you guys like this video then make sure to give it a thumbs up also comment down below any other videos that you guys would like to see me do like if you guys have any suggestions just comment them down below i'll be more than happy you know to do um a video i've been wanting to do a q and a but you know nobody really asked me any questions in my comments so it's kind of hard to do a q and a when i don't know what questions you guys have and what you guys want to know so just comment down below and you like let me know like i said and I'll do a Q&A video or something. Hit the bell icon right next to the subscribe button so you guys get notified every time I post and you guys do not miss out on a video. Once I hit 200 subscribers, I'm also going to be doing a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away makeup. So make sure to subscribe because you never know. Maybe you could be the winner and win that makeup. I already have everything um, put away for the giveaway too. So subscribe and yeah. That's pretty much it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.